Hey guys, we are continuing Legend of Korra. We are actually finishing Legend of Korra. This is episode 12. This is the last, no, almost almost the last one. It's crazy. It's actually quite sad. It's been some seasons and now it's just about to finish. It's always a bit odd to move on from, from a show that I like recording so much. And the previous episode was great. Ended up with a plot twist because Kavira did fire her crazy weapon. I don't know. I think she's like overcompensating for, for something. I, I don't know. This is a big, big weapon. She needs big weapons to like prove her worth or some or some stuff like that and she fired it at us also well we have batar batar was betrayed by her because she picked her own agenda over him which you know sucks for for batar <laughs> yeah let's jump right into the episode find out who survived obviously everyone because this is not the type of a show let's see what happens next almost final episode of Korra. day of the colossus colossus what's the uh oh As if Batar was not hurt enough already. <laughs> yeah, Tengazin hasn't been around much lately. <laughs> Kuvira's heading our way with a platoon of mecha suits. This is my hometown, and I hate to say it, but there's no use risking all our lives to fight that giant thing. What about all the people who haven't been evacuated yet? I couldn't stop Kuvira from taking Zaufu. I'm not letting her conquer Republic City. I agree. We take down that giant today. Mm, look at her. You had me worry. Well, you Aww. vendors are gonna have to fight her alone. She just blew up our factory with all our hummingbird suits. Not all of them. There are the prototypes back at my office. Sue, you take Batar Jr. and the rest of the wounded back to Asami's office. Get those suits working as soon as you can. The rest of us will just have to face Kuvira on our own. Not much interactions between um, Asami and Korra. I just don't feel it anymore. That's a bit the sad. Returning to pick us up soon. Tell that mecha jerk to settle down. She's the one blowing up the whole city. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of more bad news, but I just heard on the radio that Look at the army has destroyed the train tracks. Standing quite close. Out of the city by rail. <laughs> Everyone, I was just up on the observation deck and saw oh. a bunch of mecha suit soldiers heading this way. The giant one wasn't enough. It's Maybe over. Pema is a bit more. I can get us out of here if you just sit tight. Adventurous. The bench, please. It's a little crowded up here. I'm going to get some help. You think you can handle this unruly mob for a little while? I raise Milo. I can handle anything. It's always the quiet ones, isn't it? Prima. Oh, you. <laughs> a paint store? What are you doing, Milo? I just got an idea how to beat the giant. Grab some paint and find me some balloons. Really? Oh, maybe they will cover the, um, the vision thingy. Oh, that looks so odd. They look like flying cows. <laughs> God! Wow! She's really evil, evil, evil! Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Wow. He finally proved useful. <laughs> uh, oh, they can do that. No. The joints are platinum too. We can't metal bend any of it. You're about to get the world's largest hot foot metal lady. <sighs> Whoa. I just love how Boleyn is the main guy right now and like not Mako. Oh shit! Oh! Dungeon's okay? What? How is the thing still operating? What are we gonna do? Everyone, retreat! Take the wounded back to Asami's office. I'm gonna see if I can find help. Help? What kind of help? I'm just trying to think. What is left? Who is left out there? All right, spirits. 
Spirits, right? Oh! <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna beat the giant with that, sure. Kufira's troops are headed this way. Asami, disconnect anything electrical in here until we get back. Julie, let's go! Mom, just rest, son. I'm so sorry. I betrayed you. The whole family. I gave my life to Kuvira, and she just fired that weapon at me. How could she do that? She's a complicated person. Wing and Wei will never forgive me, and Opal. They might take some time to come around, but we'll work through it as a family. Oh. Do you think this plan will actually work, sir? Oh, I know dude. I can stop the mecha suits with an electromagnetic pulse. So it stands to reason that I can stop a giant mecha suit with a giant electromagnetic pulse. Does she pulse. call him sir? Really? I thought they were really? on first name basis. <laughs> You're always thinking, sir. Lately, I've been thinking about you. <gasps> it's happening. I know we might not make it out of this mess. But I feel like there are some things I should tell you. I remember when I was a boy. I had an ostrich horse named her Mrs. Beaks. I grew up on a farm. Did I ever tell you that, Julie? This was before the circus people took me away. Anyway, I loved old <laughs> Mrs. Beaks, but I took her for granted. You'll have to finish your story later. Kuvira's troops are in range. Okay, oh. hope this works. Dead in their tracks! How did this happen? Turned off her, their power. Still coming! Do the thing! I'm afraid there are no more things to do. <gasps> what was that? No thing. An electromagnetic pulse. Oh. It shut down the mecha suits, but our power source is fine. Locate the source of the pulse. That must be where Varric is. Move in and continue the sweep. Capture anyone left in this city. How come your electro thingy shut down the small mecha suits, but not the big one? Because it's powered with spirit vine energy. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but it's unstoppable. It's not. Dad? Oh, hey! to help. I figured we need all the geniuses we can get our hands on right now. Father-in-law. the prison's still standing after all this is over, we can throw him back in. I know what you all must <laughs> think of me, but I love Republic City, and I would do anything to save her. You think you know how to defeat this thing? You must act like an infection. Break the skin and attack the vital organs. Disconnect the heart and the brain, and this beast cannot live. How are we supposed to get inside? Future Industries has plasma saws for cutting platinum. But the saws are way too big. We'd never get the suits off the ground. I think I can add an electrical element to the welding torch on your suit and convert it into a plasma saw. Then we'll just have to land on the giant and cut open a hole big enough for someone to get in. Like a metal mosquito. You know what happens to mosquitoes that land on me? <laughs> I squash them. We'll have to attack in a swarm to try to keep you guys safe in the hummingbird suits. It looks like they're our only hope. Oh, first he ate the fruit, then he ate the leaves. Hungry little lemur ate up all my trees. Oh, Pema. Okay, <laughs> great job, everybody. She's definitely Milo's mo mother. For us. Should we play the button game? You know what? I Who love that Asami's button? father will like have a redemption arc because we started the show with Oh, are these Bajamoles? Where did these Bajamoles come from? Mako always hated my singing, but they love it. They're the best earthbenders around. We can use them to tunnel out of the city without Kuvira's troops spotting us. Are you sure this is the best plan? Smart, I like that. Badger moles, big in holes under Republic City. Gotta run away from Kuvira today, although I do still think she's pretty. <laughs> Not bad, you know, quite cashy. Mech platoons, report. I think we found the source of the electromagnetic pulse. Future Industries Tower. That's the place. Kuvira is headed our way. How long will it take to get the plasma saws ready? Just a few more minutes. If you do manage to get inside, find the engine room. There are two emergency levers. If you switch them off at the same time, you'll cut the power. We may not be able to beat that thing, but we can slow it down. Let's go! Yeah, Asami's father, he was the reason we started the whole thing, as he betrayed us, and now he's going to save us, which really does a nice circle, sort of. I like that. I just realized Cora reminds me of this famous Polish tennis player called Iga Świątek. Do you see that? <laughs> I see that. What's up with her? Oh. <gasps> oh. Like Simba, Mufasa, and Lion King. Such a shot. Ah, 
Not it. How? Turn around slowly and please stop that singing. You are all Earth Empire prisoners. No. You don't need these people. They're just innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. But I'm Prince Wu. Take me to Kavira. But before I go, I'd like to sing you a song. If you don't respect the brooch, you don't respect me. You're no better than a roach, but I'm royalty. I got my badger moles with me. Actually, your song is so bad, your badger moles deserted you. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought so. Oh, badger moles, I love you. I love you. That's actually adorable. <laughs> oh, father in law and wife. If we stop that mecha giant, it will all be because of you. Oh. You're the one who designed these incredible suits. No, you. It's great to be working together again. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Ah. I mean, Okura should have been there. It was a family moment. Just I tell have her. I need to attach before we take off. Attach to what? <gasps> I need to attach this ring to your finger. Will you do the thing for the rest of our lives? Yes. That's adorable. Yes. Now let's go attach these barely functional rust buckets. That's adorable. It's exactly how I always pictured our engagement. She pictured it. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter's snitch thingy. So smart. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. We need to get out of here. Almost there. Don't die. We have to go now. Almost there. Almost there. Mm -mm. Dad, now. Goodbye, Asami. <gasps> I love you. Hiroshi's plan worked. There's our opening. He died! He did an Armageddon type of a sacrifice with Bruce Willis died instead of Ben Affleck. Yay, we're in. That was such an intense episode. I had no idea who she would die. Like it just surprised me because in Avatar no one really could die. And here the sword of breaking the rule. I guess they didn't really care. End of the show. I think judging by your comments, the show has been somewhat mistreated by Nickelodeon, right? They couldn't really do the whole Cora Sami thing. They had to cut out the Kavira episode, which would reveal her motives because without it, she's just plain evil without a really complicated backstory, without too many motives, except for wanting to rule like a dictator. Word. Kira's sacrifice, I should have I should have seen that coming. They did the whole arc when we started off with him in book one betraying us. Then we had the whole redemption arc when it comes to Asami forgiving him and like having all these nice moments and now he just sacrificed himself for the greater good. Very much Bruce Willis style like an Armageddon that happened. If you've seen that movie, Michael Bay's Armageddon. Just one episode left. So I'll be posting that soon and do stick around. Thank you so much for watching. The finale is probably already on Patreon as I'm posting this episode. Stay safe guys, this is Ella from Stop Your Channel. Bye!